Hello, welcome back to Better Sushi Live Coding. Um, in this episode, I'm going to share with you um, it's a 3D graffiti, uh, procedural 3D graffiti creations, which is actually um, something that's shared by Zephy, one of Spatial Developer. He made this a couple of years ago and then he shared uh, the Node 3 uh, recently uh, on his Twitter. I think it's a really good study uh, for you to, to try to make yourself. So this is my my own variations. Uh, I'm using the matte cap of Blender, but this is the the actual uh, design, or is it really design, or we don't know it. Uh, but it is all procedural, and it's really really <coughs> kind of interesting uh, that you can do this rather quite easily. It is looking like a like a graffiti. Basically, this is like a, a curved object with a simple bevel. If I actually get rid of the bevel, it's looking like a, just like a lines. But it's really, really cool. I, I really love this uh, setup. Uh, and I wonder if I, I should share the node tree or you, you can create it yourself. So basically, you start with a factor P field. And if we connect it to viewer draw, you can see this is uh, the dots that that makes um, that started this, this creations. So that's the dots, just a factor P field, a bit of uh, randomizations. If I remove randomizations, you can see this is more like a like a normal points. Um, but let's randomize it, and then we remove doubles. So we remove we, we can remove some of the points. So you, you have something that's a little bit simpler <clears throat> and then you are using a factor noise node scalar to give this a uh, control over the, the distance and you add you add the factor points data together so you have these points What's interesting, however, <coughs> is this uh, B trace KD3. This is something that uh, I think created was uh, was created by Lee, one of Spatial developer as well. But uh, we don't know where he is at the moment. Also, I remember um, there is another guy who is um, Blender developers who made an add-on called B trace. You should look it up. And then there's a factor sort. Here using the connect by doing that you you basically have like a, some kind of way to sort sort the line so they are not they are not overlapping or jumping around they they they, they made up a, now like a single line you can actually um, at this point bake bake it out so it's become like a like an edge normal edge. So that's even that's already really cool because you can turn it into skin. That's kind of more like a hard edge kind of design. And continue on, you have this factor interpolations. And if you want to have control over the radius, you, you can have another factor noise. So it's it seems pretty uh, basic and simple, but then the polyline viewer turn it into this kind of a uh, graffiti looking artwork so I uh, I think I want to share with you the notary but I think you can try to make this yourself so I'm gonna do another uh, few of the notes factor P field you can start with anything maybe with Suzanne as well what happened if you use Suzanne try so Suzanne points, you have something that looks like Suzanne, kind of. So I'm going to multiply the scale. So this was original Suzanne. You can, you can see a bit of Suzanne there. It's really cool. Anyway, you start with factor P, that's a that's a good start and then you kind of remove 
sum of the points based on the distance we have this four noise noise affecting the points and then you, this is the important part B trace and vector sort and then vector interpolations kind of connect the dots and then you can use it for polyline view and you, you, you control the, the radius to get the design you like if you like you can also twist it but the twist is looking really really cool if you have material oh yeah by the way another blender trick with a curve if you turn on the texture space if you turn it on convert the curve into a mesh so now it's a, it is a mesh it has a UV you can then use the UV and just use your own image to to map uh, across this guy right here so that that way you can use a uh, blender 2.8 uh, let's try this actually so now I save it as EV uh, actually I save it as blender and I gonna open blender 2.8 file open blender let's see they'll just set up EV it's okay spread chalk doesn't work on the on blender 2.8 yet but we have this mesh which is a uh, something that you can map over using a material let's see if I have anything to map what yeah this colorful image might work okay so this guy should be a shader editor Oh, okay that's a metallic color it's very colorful gravity I'm using like environment light environment texture go to my HDR gallery test it out okay maybe not maybe make it more reflective increase the metalness now you have this very very cool right so you use the blender 2.79 and spread chalk to generate this you can animate it you can choose a different result oh actually did i delete something oh yeah i delete the bezier anyhow you know the the process and then you export it and now it's a uh, render 2.8 EV render can render really cool uh, 3d objects you you can kind of make a better shader than this of course anyhow uh, hopefully this is useful and fun let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye